But um, some big stuff. Big yeah. things afoot. Big things afoot. Spot. Do we have a drum roll action again? Or can you can you play the timpani like you used to do on your belly? Is drum that roll. Possible? Spot has uh he has pork roll. So one spot gets some drum roll queued up. Spot. Um, are we sure about this or what? Yes. So you. I mean, you guys. Okay. Seem convinced. I can only do so long. I know. Stop. We need a real drum roll. Oh, okay. Well, we have big things coming up this year. Big plans for the Cavino and Rich show. Big news, big updates. Already, already, uh, some great TV meetings in place. Oh yeah, got great momentum coming already, into this year. Already, things uh, that we hope to get back on TV this year. Oh yeah. yeah. Team up with some companies. You know, this is a contract year. Hopefully, sign a nice big contract with Sirius XM. Stay here a while. Who knows? But what do we do every year, Spot, in June? Oh. The, oh, what do we call it now? The, uh, is it now? We, are we calling it the Carl Naval? The electric uh, Daisy Carl Naval. Electric no. Carl Naval. For so, all the millions, though, for all the yeah. millions of people new to the Cavino and Rich show, um, um, um. all the barstool dudes, all the new people tuning into the new Rush ninety three, and the nude people tuning into Rush and 93. the nude people. Every year we have an annual convention of CNR listeners, Cavino and Rich listeners, the Carls. They all get together and they come to one place, New York City, to party with us. We gotta start planning. However, we got the dates. Okay. Wednesday, May 31st until Saturday, June 3rd. That's an early one. Ta-da! Ta-da! Right. 844-SXM-RUSH. 844-SXM-RUSH. All right. Who's on line one spot? Hey. Hello. Hello. Hey. Hey, babe. Oh, oh hey, Sarah. Oh, it's Wifey. Um, Wifey's on the phone. Hey, Sarah. What's hey, babe. up? Hey, babe. Good morning. Wifey. Good morning. Um, Babe. I think the show hours are messing with your head. Um, that, those dates aren't going to work, so I... You, uh, you didn't oh, clear it with your wife? So May 31st until... No, he never clears me. No, he never clears anything with me. And that's... No. So Wednesday, May 31st to, to June 3rd will not work? No. Why? It just... No. Why? Well, I don't know. Maybe it's because you're going to have a newborn... And you're going to leave me with a newborn, and that's not going to work for me? Oh, yeah, that's right. Sarah's pregnant. Hey! Oh, hey! She's having a baby! That's Ooh! right. Rich is yeah! going to be a dad. What? <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Congratulations! Whoa! Whoa! That's awesome. All right, so those are not the dates. Those are not the dates. All right, those yeah. are not the dates. The big announcement is, Rich is going to be a dad! Yeah! Richie, give it up. Give it up. Sarah gave it up. <laughs> na 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 na. <laughs> do 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 do. All right, and there goes another lucky dad bro. Oh. So Rich is gonna be a dad. Yeah. Sarah and I are. Well, I'm, I'm not doing. I did my job. I'm done. Uh, Sarah. You did your job. You got the super sperm. sperm. Sarah is due mid May. So yeah, I guess. Leaving for the DBC two weeks after uh, the baby's due date is probably pushing it. Spot, would you say maybe? Yeah, yeah I would give it a little more yeah. time. So maybe we look, uh, I'll look at the end of June dates in a second, but uh, but yeah, Sarah and I were, uh, we're gonna have a baby. Your first ever, our first ever baby. Yeah, <laughs> your first ever baby, <laughs> our first ever baby. And Those that's your, are true. and that's your big announcement. Ta da! The- the middle of May. The middle of May. So, due date. It's gonna be May. So, due date, middle of May. Um, exciting. Can't believe Sarah is... Babe, I can't believe you're more than halfway there. 22, over 22 weeks now, right? Yep. And what's crazy to me is that I'm terrible at keeping secrets. So, doing the radio show. every <laughs> Doing the radio show. Secret. Every single day, doing the radio show every single day while I'm going through life at home with my wife who's pregnant. 
going through all of what I guess you know guys go through when they're when they're expecting their first kid and their wife is pregnant. I'm going through all this, freaking out, and every day I have to come on the radio show. You've been having a freak out, freak out, freak out, freak out, <laughs> and every day I have to come to work and be like. Hey, diddly dee. Right. Ah, ba-da, ba-da. right, right, and, right. You know, I, I haven't been able to say anything. And by the way, it's a big announcement because, I mean, you've grown along with the show. Yeah. You know, everyone's been waiting for the big day. Rich and Sarah had their first, and today is the day. Today's the big announcement. Yeah. And life changes from, so, from here on in for the better. Yeah. So, what are you, uh, you're five, like over like five months now, right? Yeah, over five months. Over five months. So, we're almost right. there. We're almost there. I just, uh, we really are. <laughs> Well, you know, the reason I didn't say anything earlier, there was factors. There was factors. First of all, my brother, Top Jimmy, had a baby in November. So we didn't want to, like, overshadow his moment. Or so step we, on it. You yeah, know. or step on his moment or, like, like or, 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 or you know, just, like, get in the way of that joy. So we waited. Let him have his shine. Yeah, let him have a shine. And then we said, well, why don't we just wait until the holidays to tell our family? And so now we're waiting more, not telling anyone. And we tell our families around Christmas time. And then I didn't want to tell you guys yet because around Christmas time, you know, there's a lot of people traveling and not everyone's listening to the radio. And it's a, you know, it's a, it's a lot of downtime, right? Right. So finally, I get to tell all you guys that Sarah and I are having a baby. I'm going to be a dad in four months. What? Which is nuts. I'm freaking out. It's uh. <laughs> It's a cra- it's a crazy feeling. So I'm glad. I'm Sarah. Thank you for reminding me that we can't do the DBC. Congratulations. Thank, you. thank you, Sarah. Good job, Sarah. Good job. Good job, Rich. I know. Thanks, guys. All right. Love you, babe. Love you, babe. Bye. All right, bye. So that's, that's the big announcement, guys. Uh, the change in the show is the news and Rich's life. Crazy, right? Yeah, absolutely. Can't wait for all the stories. Think, Think of, of the, the story. story. I'm going to read some of the feedback. A lot of my life and a lot of my complaints will now make sense to Rich, and I've been waiting for that day for a long, <laughs> long time. And I'm just waiting for the for Rich to uh, experience the joy that, that I've discussed for all these years and that a lot of the guys listening out there know what I'm talking about. Uh, it, it's uh, a big change for the show and, and the best <laughs> news possible, and we're happy to share that oh, dude, with I, you guys. I, well, I mean... Spot, I, I told you how long ago. Oh, you told me a while ago. I told uh, Spot was one of the first people I told because I had to I had to tell someone, and you had just moved. So when was that? Uh, November. Yeah. Be- or for maybe first week in November. Yeah. And then shortly after that, I invited Kavino over for dinner, and well, you were contemplating holding off. Until now. To tell Kavino. To tell Kavino, because he wanted to do like a big on-air reveal. But then I was thinking like, if I waited to tell Kavino on the air, he might think that's shitty. Especially this long. Yeah. That would have been the shit. That would have been shitty. So, I told Kavino, I invited Kavino over for dinner, and then Sarah and I surprised him and said, hey, by the way, we're having a kid, so. Oh, here's how they did it, though, behind the velvet rope. They invited me over for dinner, and mm-hmm. usually I would normally sort of try to finagle my way out of it, but I, I stuck with the plan because they promised tacos. Oh, by the way, it's like I went Mexican fishing. Yeah, they went Mexican fishing. Hey, Kavino, like, can you come over We're tonight? We're making tacos. Kavino, can you come over tonight? Uh, yeah, bro, I don't know. I don't know. I got a, you know, fucking- Come on, bro, uh, tacos. I don't know. I don't know, bro. Fine. Bro. I said, how many tacos? As many endless tacos. All right, I'm there. So I got my car. And I'm like, tacos, tacos, tacos. And I get there, and they're all watching TV. And Rich said, hey, before we eat tacos, before sit, the tacos, sit down, because we're going to eat tacos. <laughs> sit down, and I want to show you something. Tacos are coming. Yo, Sarah, show them that, that video we saw. Show them that SNL clip. And he sent me down to show me this SNL clip that was so hilarious. And to wonder if I, I had ever seen it. And it was like some old Kristen Wiig SNL clip. And I'm sitting there watching it. And I'm like, why are you guys showing me this? And and right before I was about to say something rude, Rich was like, oh, wait, Sarah, this is the wrong one. And they hit the little input button. And it went to the... It went to the DVD option. And there it was. An the, image, this, this, the sonogram. An image of the baby, the sonogram. And then it took me no second. He's like, like wait a minute. What the fuck? I was like, I was like, wait, wait a minute. Is that a fucking baby? What the fuck is that? Hey, what the fuck are you showing and me? And, and then it dawned on me like, wow, you're showing me a sonogram. Congratulations. Oh, it was, it, dude, it was. It, co- yeah. Wait I was shocked. What I was the, so shocked. I was actually honored that Rich, you surprised me. Bad taste in video. I was like, wow, this is crazy, dude. Crazy. 
And then, uh, but it's you know, been, then, uh, I, then I was like, Rich, tell me the story. And, and, and basically, uh, Sarah was reading a book and Rich pulled his cock out and put it on her shoulder. Oh yeah. No. And no, I said, took, uh, he took it out as the, uh, bookmark. Yeah. yeah. Wiener games. Yeah. That's yeah, he, uh, how it, it all went down. It all started with a uh, yeah. game of wiener games, yep. uh, like you heard in the <laughs> song before. And now he's gonna be a dad. Actually. Hey, Dad. I don't know how personal oh, you no, want to I, get. You know what? I want to. This is this is fucking crucial. Like your favorite baseball pitcher from back in the day, Rick Ruschel. Is that how you say his name? Though, was it Rick Ruschel or Ruschel? I don't know. I, I for the for, rhymes with Ruschel. Yeah, rhyme, crucial. Yeah, crucial. This is so crucial to the story, my story. life, and everything. You know? How, Tell me the story. You know, in past years, I've said when it comes to weird bizarre happenings with ex-girlfriends and women along the way and how even when i met my wife somehow spot plays a role somehow which is why he was the best man at my wedding which is why spot's always there for us right there's something that always ties spot in kick it away to when i met certain women in my life when i met my wife when different shit went down spot was there spot somehow had a little roll little finger in his po- of the pie like so he was there he was part of the story. And once again, Spot was there videotaping. No, uh, Spot, <laughs> we planned the road trip. Remember the road trip we took from Vancouver down to San Francisco? San Diego. I'm sorry, San Diego. That road trip we took <laughs> from Vancouver down to San Diego was originally supposed to be the third week of August. A week earlier than it was. A week earlier. And if you remember, Kavino. I it remember. Was, it, maybe. I remember. It wasn't Spot Dilly Dallying. It was just him. No, it was the company. No, it was the company. The and, company didn't give us approval until like <laughs> three weeks before. And, and they're like, all right, book everything. And Spot made the, what would you say, Kavina? The, the call? He made the producer administrative call of, nope, not happening. I'm pushing the road trip back one week. So that I'm better prepared as producer and, the, and this goes smoother. I still wasn't prepared. Right? Right. I got Sarah pregnant the week we were supposed to oh, be on the road. Tell us the story. So if Spot uh? didn't dilly-dally uh? and Spot didn't push back the road trip a week, uh? this wouldn't have happened. Because I would have been in Vancouver or San Diego or San Francisco or somewhere else. So Spot, once again, playing a role. In all of this, there's some quote about uh, a good friend Spotty. will, will li- a good friend will listen to all your stories, but a, but a great friend is, is part of all oh. of the stories or something oh, like that. That's very like touching. That. Steve. I can't I can't remember how it goes, but something along those lines. Spots and, uh, a part spots of that guy. all the stories, right? So there so, you have it. Whether it's a boy or a girl, you're going to name it Spot. I don't think that's going to happen. Spot Daniel, full name. Spot Daniel. Gotcha. Spot Daniel. So. The funny part to Sarah and I is how we've been telling different people. You know, you reveal it to different people, how you surprise By the way, you know, family. I haven't told any of my family members. I know. I know. I, I was texting your sisters the other day right. on a little group Cavino chat. Oh, and they know? No, they don't know. Oh, okay. Yeah. And I, I almost told them. I almost said something from everybody. Hey, how's Rich doing? I'm like, yeah, he's doing good. <laughs> I text Big Steven. I yeah, didn't tell him. Yep. Yeah, no, I've, I've been saving it so they could hear it on the air. I've been, I've been waiting for everyone to hear it on the air. So, you know, also a big story. You know, a big secret like that, I. I feel like I'm going to slip it all the time. But, you know, like, oh. Yeah, I know. Oh. So, I thought the funny, uh, I'll, I'll tell you one story. And then we'll take some feedback. 844-SXM-RUSH is the number. 844-SXM-RUSH. Tons of text feedback. We'll take some phone calls as well. 844-SXM-RUSH. If you're just joining us, the big announcement. Sarah and I are having a baby. I'm going to be a dad. It's crazy. And... The, I thought the funniest thing so far of all the reveals, you know, we bought people different Christmas presents with little, uh, what would you say, Kavino? Like, that's how we reveal to them. Like, hey, you're going to be, you're gonna, you're gonna be an ant mug for my sister. And, right. you know, my dad, we got my dad ping pong paddles that said grandma and grandpa on it for him and his wife. Like, we gave, we, we thought of clever little ways to tell different family members. Rishi, that's a nice gesture, but uh, I have my paddle. That does. Oh, I got with my dad. That's a nice panel, but mine's custom. I don't know if he wants me to say this, but we caught my dad so off guard. Might have been like one of the only times I've ever seen him cry. Whoa! I saw Greg started shedding a tear. And Russians he had a, don't and, cry. And I know. He, he, uh, 
he, he almost uh, excused oh, himself. I think my allergies I think are I, uh, the best of me. I got to go. I got to go into. Let me go into the other room a second. He had to dip away. Maybe he was. Crying. I saw my dad. Maybe he was crying when he saw that beautiful ping pong paddle you gave him. <laughs> this is uh, the most amazing thing I've ever seen. This no would be a uh, paddle. This I've never me, had uh, my own custom Greg ping pong paddle. Papa G. Yeah. What is that? <laughs> Oh, oh, oh Rich, yeah, he wasn't crying at the announcement. He was like, "Oh, Richie, you shouldn't have. I've always dreamed of this <laughs> ping pong paddle. Oh, <laughs> customized. You've oh. outdone yourself, son." I'm <laughs> done. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, while Greg's playing ping pong, thinking about this, <laughs> working good, Richie. Not bad. The one that you guys will get a kick out of the most is my brother, Top Jimmy. Because what do we say about my brother? My brother... That he's a goonburger? He's, a, he's such a well, great... He's descended from a long line of goonburgers. My brother decides... I'm, I'm going to tell him at Christmas when I see him, right? So I, when I went down to Maryland for that trip, I go to see my brother. And we, he just had a son, Wesley. Wes. Baby Wes. So I get my brother... A little onesie for his son. And it has a little monkey on it. And it says, pretty soon, this little monkey is going to be Big Cousin Wes. And that was the way we were surprising Jimmy. That's cute. He opens up the package. <laughs> That's cute, right? You know what it is, Rich? It's you're caught so off guard. Like, when you showed me that video, I'm like... What? Sonogram baby? What the? Yeah. What? You just. What the, <laughs> yeah. what is this? I don't get you. Show me. What it's, about the SNL clip? Wait, what? It's like when, when you walk into your own surprise party. Where are the and, tacos? And you, and I was tacos. Wait, there's, wait, there's still tacos, right? <laughs> we there's, have oh, no I said well, no. Ba baby. All right, hold on. Yeah. Hold on the baby. Sonograms are There great. are tacos, correct? <laughs> <laughs> Baby's good enough, but I was probably I mean, tacos. You got Sarah, tacos. congratulations with all due respect to tacos, right? <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. You know, at your own surprise party, you're like, oh. you walk in, you're like, what? But yeah, you're, you're yeah, still confused. Uh, you're confused. Guy, yeah. There's that sense of confusion. Yeah. So my brother opens the gift, wrap it. Oh, Joe. Oh, oh, yeah. It's pretty soon this little monkey, big cousin West, puts it down. It goes, oh, very nice. Goes to grab the next thing. <laughs> and I go, Jimmy, read it again. He's like, oh, yeah. Oh, this oh onesie, a little bit, a little monkey, uh, uh, big cousin Wes. All right, cool. Hey, monkeys. Grabs another thing. I go, Jimmy. Read it again. One more time. <laughs> yeah, monkeys, Wes. Yeah, I got it. Picks up the the onesie. <laughs> yeah, and that's why. And that's why. And that's yeah, why. About big, uh, this, uh, yeah, it's cool, right? right monkey's right. gonna be big cousin Wes. <laughs> yeah, cool. Yeah, it's great, right? It's cool. This and then it nice clearly, obviously, right? you know, believe it or not, it, it I don't, took. I don't it, get it. I it, mean, I like birds, not monkeys. It, it, okay. it took his wife like a second, but she knew it, and then she starts looking at Jimmy too, like. Jim. Jim. And he's like, yeah, yeah monkey, because yeah, of Wes. Yeah, monkey, that's right. I yeah. know. Oh, that's big, why. Because of Wes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Jim, read right? it again. I like Jimmy. Monkeys, I know. Jim, he read like it a little monkey, again. I know, right? Yeah, Jocelyn, it's nice. I, I thank them. No, Jim, read it again. The the gift from your brother. I Jocelyn, I read it. I mean, how many times do I have to read it? Yeah, because of Wes. And then we have to be like, Jimmy. <laughs> For your son, Wes, <laughs> this is so to great. be a big cousin. Requires what? Requires what? Monkey, yeah, big, big, monkeys? I don't yeah, know. Big, big cousin. Big, monkey. Monkey. Big, 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 big cousin. But that's why. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, he, and all of a sudden he's like, oh shit, you guys are having a baby? <laughs> I, I tell, like, he fucking read this shirt. Ten times. Uh, read the shirt ten times. So, so funny, man. Uh, all right, so big news. Big news. Long. Congratulations to Sarah's, uh, Sarah. Sarah. Sarah's 22, 23 weeks. She's more than halfway. Woo! And... We'll take all your feedback next. All right. For Vino and Rich, doing it live from L.A., Sirius XM.